Let me talk about uh, my travel inside China, that so-called... Uh... Hey guys, it's Ferdinand Dandy here and welcome to DIY Travel Inside China. Because uh, you know what? Someone thought that um, I have lots of money, that I can travel here, there, over there, or maybe I have uh, several sponsors uh, that is free, that uh, I can just uh, travel in a week, uh, or escape from, from my work, um, take a vacation, and then travel. I think that uh, something that I can share for my fellow overseas uh, Filipino worker who are in China, especially those uh, who are in Shenzhen or in Dongguan or in the Guangdong province, uh, a technique that uh, I have been using for me to travel almost free. And um, that is the content of my video today in the DSTOP channel, in the DIY travel, inside China. Stay tuned guys, stay tuned until the end of this video. Let me have a sip before I will share to you my technique, how I travel inside China, just a little bit compared to the overseas Filipino worker here in mainland China but not comparable to the real bloggers who are traveling inside China. I'm not yet into that kind of level, a real travel blogger. Just, I'm just doing the DIY travel inside China whenever I have free travel sponsored by my friends, by other people. That's the short answer actually. Now, my travel inside China is actually DIY, that's so-called uh, DIY frugal travel inside China. I almost uh, don't spend money for it, except for the barbecue and food, just like right now with a last piece of the barbecue. And what I mean by that is that um, I actually shared one of my videos uh, when I say that I'm going to the Jiangxi province um, in the Jiangxi province, I'm going to do a kind of video productions wherein I'm going to take a part of the manufacturing, the process by process, that's so-called control plan. And I'm going to start with, um, you know, the uh, incoming materials in the IQC, that is incoming quality control. I'm not going to tell you everything of that uh, because uh, that is one of my secrets for manufacturing, a kind of freelance, uh, video production and um, exactly what I told you in that video that uh, I'm going there for the video productions um, that is just only for maybe five hours um, and the rest of my two days uh, will gonna be for traveling like uh, hiking I'm actually um, aiming to hike in one of the mountains uh, in the Jiangxi province uh, that is in Nanjiang city you know, guys, uh, this is real life. Uh, sometimes uh, we have the opportunity and uh, we lost that opportunity for something uh, not nice, uh, just like uh, what happened to me today. Wait, I'm going to What? I'm I have the opportunity to um, get uh, more money as an overseas uh, Filipino worker with my uh, video capability and my ability, I was uh, hired to take a video for uh, demonstrating about uh, the process in manufacturing. I have been planning since last night uh, with all the mindset. Uh, this video production is not free. It comes up with a tag price of about uh, 8,000 RMB, nearly about uh, 54,000 uh, pesos. Um, based on my um, video production, that so-called uh, Lucas video production, just like uh, what I'm doing right now. By the way, guys, that this video is free, this is gonna be free, and there's no money coming in. Yes, I lost that opportunity to have about uh, 8,000 RMB in uh, making that uh, video for maybe three or four hours. Uh, I'm not worried about that because I know that uh, there is another opportunity someday. So there is no so much secret actually. What I'm trying to do is that um, I'm going to help someone to make a video production, take a video. Normally that will take about uh, three, maximum five hours. Um, that will gonna be like free stuff in there. So I'm not going to pay them. 
but in return uh, it will give me some opportunity a leverage to visit that place uh, like uh, free uh, transportations we got also free hotels um, foods uh, normally yes but i tried my own foods uh, like barbecues and those kinds of um, exotic or traditional foods in that place uh, say again for example in the Jiangsu province in Nanjiang I normally go for the kinds of tra uh, traditional foods or local foods street foods um, rather than those uh, foods in the hotel which is um, although it's free but uh, normally you can find them in uh, Zhenzhen which is uh, absolutely like uh, high level I mean mid-level kinds of foods so, so in a short answer to uh, my technique like a give and take I'll help you you help me also to travel that's so simple stuff if you look that into one perspective like uh, in an angle of 30 degrees um, that's so simple sir but you know that uh, sometimes uh, those manufacturers uh, non manufacturers who know me and trust me besides from free stuff transportation hotels uh, foods um, sometimes with wine they also give me some kind of a red packet and you know the culture that uh, yes they're happy I mean, uh, you help them to do like a presentation, which is better than uh, impromptu talking in front of the customers. Uh, that means to say that, uh, hey, you helped me a lot and uh, I gained the trust of that customers. Uh, so they give me that kind of red envelope or hung bao, which is uh, inside of it is like, uh, I'm not going to tell you how much is it, but it's a pile of hundreds RMBs in account of uh, mm -hmm. that means um, I have some extra kickback no not this extra kickback I mean I have an extra kick plus uh, an adventures my blog my DIY travel inside China as simple as that I mentioned about frugal DIY travel which is um, absolutely what i have been done so far i mean i have been doing this one uh, instead of uh, asking uh, the friends uh, who asked me to do something for a real nice hotel i prefer to save that money because a nice hotel could be like about uh, 500 rmb to 700 rmb in fact uh, in one i mean um, in fact, in several of my travel, which I recorded, like uh, my travel in Mount Han, that is the Hansan, one of the uh, sacred mountain in China, in the Hunan province, um, I actually slept in the metro waiting for my um, a bullet train like uh, 6 o'clock in the morning because um, I have to go to the Fortian station and at that time I'm living in Dongguan, so... Um, going from Dongguan to the uh, Futian station in Shenzhen it will take you like about an hour and I just can't uh, find somebody to take me in the early morning like four o'clock in the morning I was not able to do the DD because of so on and so forth problem on the payment problem on uh, this uh, access uh, or booking the DD into four o'clock in the morning so what I have done is that uh, I go to the uh, Fudian Metro station about the, the last trip, like uh, 11 o'clock, uh, and then arrive at the Fudian station, like about uh, 11.45. Uh, then I stay at the Fudian station. I sleep in there, actually. I almost like uh, opening my tent, um, and the security guard is actually looking at me or laughing at me that, wow. This foreigner is so poor that uh, he cannot even just stay in a hotel like uh, 180 RMB or 200 RMB. I mean, uh, those are the cheap hotels in Sensen, like Hotel 168. So that's really how frugal my DIY travel is. Um, and also when I go to the Ui Mountain, that was again sponsored, um, but the hotel is only sponsored for one night. Uh, and the same situation that I'm coming from Dongguan, going to the Sensen Bay Station, that is the Sensen North Station. 
and the only thing I can do again is to sleep uh, in the Sensen North Station. <coughs> Let me have a little bit. Yes, um, that's actually happening. I did not get my tent that time because I know that there will be a hotel in the Ui Mountain in the Fujian province. And that's really the frugality of my DIY travel inside China. And you know that uh, from Sensen Bay to the Ui Mountain, it will take about uh, seven hours. Uh, seven hours by bullet trains uh, uh, with uh, a direct uh, bullet train from the North Station to the Nanping Station in Fujian province uh, in the Ui Shan. It's basically a tiring travel, but uh, the scenery is really, really nice uh, from Sensen, uh, I mean, in the Guangdong province, going to the Fujian province, the lots of magnificent scenery along the way. I should have taken the air, but the um, airplane is basically like uh, almost the same as uh, the bullet train. But, you know, I choose the bullet train because I really, really like to see the scenery and get a kind of a blog inside the bullet train for the <laughs> seven hours. And it's funny that uh, I found myself uh, blogging in the Ilocano dialect, which is uh, the local dialect in the Northern Philippines. I don't know what happened, but uh, you know, I just started to blog in uh, the Ilocano language, Ilocano dialect, I should say. Ito yung uh, tweba. Kat makita yun dito eh. Kung nam lang no, subsuportahan na dito yung nga bato nga yung nga mahaan. Dito yung style na dito yung kata. Kan na dito yung kwa nga yung kayo dito. Kas lang nga sarsarapahan na dito yung bato. Yung bibento lihan nga paypay sa dito nga sarapahan na dito yung bato. Dalain ti kwa style na dito eh. Padasak mo tapi man. Agwisak mo ito. Health, wealth, family, of bonding, and of course, um, thanks uh, for everyone. Thanks to Almighty God for uh, this opportunity. So what is a takeaway from this video? It means that uh, if you have a sidekick, like uh, what I'm doing, that I know how to film, like what I'm doing right now, then uh, you can leverage uh, something that probably it will help you uh, aside from your normal work as an overseas uh, Filipino worker. It have the potential as well to make uh, some small amount of money, maybe to others, it's a big amount of money, something that um, it's uh, the bread and butter, as they say. I'm not yet into that level. I'm still working daily as an overseas uh, Filipino worker. And the YouTube channel, YouTube channel like this channel and my other channel is actually a liability. They're not making any money except uh, for uh, one channel that um, uh, exciting, not, not good for kids, just for adult people. That is something that is making small amount of money. And not in Patreon, but um, also in YouTube. <laughs> I'm not telling to you that, guys, because um, in the eyes of people, especially for Catholic, um, I mean Christians, um, it's not that really nice. Uh, but uh, it's making money, you know. That's uh, what we are overseas Filipino worker here in China, making money. I mean, uh, making money better than in the Philippines, I guess, I guess. Uh, so, I mean, uh, the essence is that um, if you get some extra talent, <laughs> if you think that uh, taking video right now for me is that it's a talent, uh, then it's really, really good that you can boost up that one and then uh, make it as your sidekick to have an extra income or leverage it uh, to get uh, helping others uh, and then others can help you as well. It's like a recycling between uh, helping others, uh, you will help them and they will help you as well. I think uh, that's all about uh, how I share my DIY travel inside China. And of course, um, without that uh, curiosity and without that passion for travels, uh, passion to see the magnificent work of God uh, that improved by man, whether they are natural or uh, man-made, uh, without that passion, 
you won't be able to travel like the way I have done and I have been doing and keep continue doing until I cannot walk, <laughs> I guess. So. And that's really no secret um, for my DIY travel inside China. It's just the matter of um, helping you, helping me as well. And we recycle that kind of good stuff, uh, good energy that is uh, keep recycling within my uh, uh, surroundings or circle of friends and circles of know-how. All right, guys, uh, that's what I can share for now. It's uh, Ferdinand Dandy once again, and uh, bye for now, and see you in the next video, the next DIY travel inside China. The last one. Oh, by the way, guys, um, don't forget to watch my adventure in the Oyu Mountain, that's so-called Oyu Sam, one of the secret mountains in China, located in the Oyu Mountain, Fujian Province. Don't forget to watch that guys. Don't forget.